Hello, uh, I am Shivram Ayya. Uh, I am CC++ faculty. I have uh, 10 years of experience in development and training uh, in C and C++. I have experience in corporate training also. And uh, welcome to my class on uh, C language training. Today I am going to give introduction to the C language. C language was developed by Dennis Ritchie in 1972 at AT&T Bell Laboratories. C language was developed by Mr. Dennis Ritchie in 1972 at AT&T Bell Labs, 1972. It is in USA. So, C is a uh, computer language. So, what is a computer? What is it used for? C language is used to write computer programs. What is a computer program? Have you seen a computer program anywhere? Yes, you have seen. Examples, suppose you go to railway reservation. There is a computer, there is a program running on this before the uh, railway executive. Once you go to buy a ticket, he will open that screen and ask for details and search for whatever you have asked. If it is available, he will allot the seat or bed, whatever. So all this is computer programming. That is one example of computer programming. And one more is when you go to hospital, the patient registration form, there is a computer again there. Then uh, the programs used in robots or any of the electronic appliances, uh, for example, any of the washing machines or microwaves, all these are now these coming with programs. All these are computer programs, may not be in C but some other language, but they are all computer programs. Okay. Now, now let us go to uh, C. Let us even see example program, what it is. Uh, before, I think you can cut. before going to this uh, example program, we need to have a look at uh, the environment, C development environment or what exactly is involved in this. For example, any program development. So, to develop C program or any other program, what we write is we read programs, we write computer programs in text. For that we need a text editor. So, to write a program we need text editor. This text editor for example notepad is also ok, that is called text editor. After this, we write the program here. After this, we have to convert this text program to executable program which can be run by the compiler, uh, which can be run by the computer. For that, we need compiler. This converts text program to executable program. The text program we write is converted to executable part using compiler. That is called compiler and uh, this compiler usually this itself provides text editor compiler and also testing environment. Usually commercial compiler provides text editor for writing the program and then the compiler which will compile and convert into executable then it will also allow us to test and complete the program development. And some examples of these compilers, commercially available compilers are 
Microsoft Visual Studio and second one is GNU compiler these two are one of two examples of compiler now let's go to C program now let us see one C program This is a small C program. Now let us examine this, what all it has. The first statement is an include statement followed by int main, opening brace, closing brace, printf, welcome to C, return 0. This is all what we have on the board. This is all they say simple C program. Now let us go to main. This main is a function. In C, a function means it is a program, it is a set of uh, C language statements which will execute a specific task. That is called a function. Now, here main is a function. Whatever C program we have write, write, we will write inside main function itself. So, main opening brace, closing brace, this is the function and whatever statements we want to write, we write between these opening and closing braces. Now, let us see the first statement printf brackets double colon welcome to c second statement is return 0 now let us see the first statement printf means this is a function used to display a message on screen that is a printf function this is a built in function already available in the c language so whatever message you want to display on the screen we specify it here in double quotes and at the end of the statement there is a semicolon here so every c language statement is terminated by a semicolon that shows that the end of the statement and this you can observe here return zero and int here these two things we will see at a later point of time right now it's not that much important we'll see this later so what is important currently at this moment is this printf statement so printf statement is displaying welcome to c on the uh, screen and here you can see this one that is backward slash n this is called a sequence it has two characters backward slash and n together it is called a sequence this is called new line character This is called new line character. This is used to give a carriage return after a message. That means after displaying this message, then the cursor goes to the next line. And if you go to the top, there is a statement here, hash include angled brackets stdioh within the angled brackets. So what is this statement? Now we also used a printf statement, printf function here. This printf function is, these details of this printf function are specified in the file called stdioh. stdioh, this is a file which contains details of this printf function. Now compiler has to, when, when compiler runs this file, runs this statement, it looks for details of this function and we specify that these details are available in this file by this include statement. STDIOH means standard 
input output std io means standard input output standard input means keyboard standard output means display so keyboard and display related functions those details are uh, present in this file stdioh the dot h means the extension you can observe that this is a h file dot h file h means header so this is called header file and to specify that this header file contains the details of some functions in used in this program we use hash include so this is how we specify that this one and this statement is called pre compiler directive pre compiler directive pre compiler directive means when we run this program before the c compiler runs a program called pre compiler runs first that will run this statement and will read the stdioh file and attaches to this before main then the compiler runs the both stdioh as well as the whole program so that is called pre compiler directive because that is directed to the pre compiler so this is how a c program is uh, written as a simple c program